Praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. Before we go on to our program today, I would like to introduce to you my two books, awesome books, Power of the Cross, How God Delivered Me and Healed Me. Praise be to God. And also the gifts of the Holy Ghost and deliverance and how to operate in the gifts. Please order on Amazon or go to my website at WWMF Ministry. Praise be to God. Let's go into our show today, our wonderful guests. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Praise be to God. We have an awesome guest. Before we go any further, let us pray for the peace of Israel and Jerusalem and for our president and also for all these uh, people who are trying to make laws, the homosexual community, that are trying to enforce their agenda in the church community, trying to force you to accept them like if they're another race. They've already passed laws uh, in New York that they have to, the schools, have to teach drag queens uh, history. That's how far they've gotten. They're getting bow. Church, it's time to get out of the closet and get serious and begin to vote them out. They're in the system. They're in the uh, political arena to try to make laws that if you do not hire them, if you do not hire them in your church, they could sue you and close your church down. Believe me, this is getting serious. Church people, uh, you want to, I'm not saying we condemn the sinner. We, we preach the goodness of God. We tell them we got good news. As an ex-transgender, uh, an ex-homosexual, God set me free. God's able to set any homosexual or drug addict or liar, cheat or whatever from their sin. God loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. But church, calling on you, when they're talking about going to the a vote against people that who believe in homosexuality do not vote because they are bringing demons to our society and our church and our schools. We better get serious about this. Father, right now, I pray that wake up the church, wake up the people, Father, so they could see the seriousness of this devil that, that is coming in, in in the name of Jesus. We And also abortion, Father. We pray in the name of Jesus, and we bind that devil of abortion here in Texas and the surrounding world in the name of Jesus. that will come down Planned Parenthood. God, expose them. And bring it down in the name of Jesus. The senseless killing in the name of Jesus. Right now we pray God that stop them Father in the name of Jesus. And we pray for the peace of Israel and Jerusalem Father. God protect them God. Bless them Father. And Father we pray for our president Father. Protect them. Give them wisdom and what you want them to do Father. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. Praise be to God. And don't forget uh, you're invited to go with us uh, 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 every f every fourth Saturday of each month at 4100 Montrose Boulevard. We're protesting against Drag Queen Storytime. Be there. Call me if you want to get involved and, and be there to protest and not to condemn them, but tell them Jesus love them. But we do not believe in that agenda. In Jesus' name. Today we have an awesome guest, Sister Joanna. Thank you for being with us. I'm honored. Hallelujah. Praise God. Tell us something about yourself, Sister, and how you got saved. Praise the Lord. And, and I understand And uh, when you got saved, you backslide and you went into drugs and got yourself in a lot of heap of trouble. But share a, a little bit. Share something with us and with the audience. Amen, brother. Thank you. I'm honored. Thank you so much for having me here. Um, well, you know, God is amazing. Um, I'll never forget, I was nine years old, and I was, you know, at Lakewood Church with John Osteen. And I remember um, I was praying and the, singing a song, Oh, How We Love Jesus. Oh, How I Love Jesus. Amen. I had... Um, been given the gift of uh, speaking in tongues, the baptism of the Holy Ghost at a very young age. I was eight to nine years old. And um, uh, I asked my mom, I said, Mom, 
what is this? I'm praying. She's like, oh my God, you are praying in the spirit. You, you're praying in tongues. I said, okay, this is amazing, you know? So, um, but see, you know, the, the devil has, um, the devil knew the plan that God had for me, brother. The devil knows. He gets a little whisper, a little uh, 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 something of our, uh, of what was in our bloodline. And um, he's going to try his best to shut, shut me down, or shut us down, which he did. He muzzled me for 26 years. Mm -hmm. So years went by, um, uh, a lot of abandonment, rejection, destruction, uh, dysfunction, uh, molestation came about rape at gunpoint came about in my life. Uh, I was very angry and hurt with so much rejection um, and, and so much uh, hurt. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I, 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 you know, I always prayed in the spirit that the drugs, the alcohol came about, lots of cocaine. I remember mm -hmm. uh, doing so much cocaine. Um, God delivered me of 26 years of cocaine, brother. Mm. Three overdoses, flatline. Mm. Mm. You would think I would have been knocked out on the first one. Nope. Second one. Nope. Third one. I'm still standing. Mm. I'm still standing. And, and you were involved in a lot of this uh, drugs. And, <coughs> and, and you did you sell drugs also? Uh, yes, whatever it took. Um, I remember being in... in I couldn't understand. I always had God's hand on me, brother. Mm. Mike, I always had God's hand on me. I was in drug raids. Everybody went to jail except myself, just me. I was just, you know, um, times where I had a flat on the uh, 225, I'll never forget. And um, they came to help me. Some people came to help me, a police officer and everybody. Uh, they got hit and I didn't. Uh, just so much that kept happening in my life. But I always saw miracles after miracles. And, and God protected how you. How God protected you. You were his child even though yeah. you backslided and, and yeah. sinned. Yeah. God had his hand because he had something yeah. for you to do. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and you were uh, selling this. Uh, were you making money? Uh, making money. I made a lot of money. Um, I be became... A stripper for many many years uh -huh. uh, I always had the love of the Lord I always stay connected to the Lord I'll never forget when I used to go to the strip clubs I would sit in the parking lot brother Mike hmm. I would sit in the parking lot and pray God I don't want to do this I don't want to do that it was a stronghold and you see back in the day you know you go to church a lot of people just go to church uh, they think okay I did the church thing and and I'm headed to to the club uh, they don't, you know, they don't take it serious. Mm -hmm. It's time to get serious. Amen. See, I didn't have the understanding and the knowledge of this word. Mm -hmm. So, you know, God is so patient with us. Mm -hmm. He is so patient with us mm -hmm. um, until I realize, you know, when uh, um, I realize that there was just so much favor on my life. And people used to say, Joanne, nothing ever happens to you. You always... Everything, you always have good luck. Everything you do. <laughs> I said, I'm the worst of the worst. What are you talking about? <laughs> you were telling me that you yeah. had some uh, cocaine and you something told you to put it up. At, uh... Yes. I was in a uh, drug house. There was a lot of drugs and uh, I was getting high. I was super high, probably like two or three days. And I had a bag of cocaine on me, brother, and uh, something in my spirit. I always had the Holy Spirit with me. Something in my spirit prompted me, get rid of it. And I hid it in a shoe, in a penny loafer. And I put it in there and hid it. And um, next thing you know, doors were getting knocked down. Gun barrels in my head. And, it was uh, the cops? Cops, yes. It was a drug raid. Wow. <laughs> it was a drug raid. You were protected <laughs> even in your yeah, sin. Even in my sin. That's God, why when, God you had know, his hand on you. When he has a purpose hmm. and you are his chosen, um, you know, People ask me, well, well, why did it take you so long? 26 years of cocaine, Joanne. Why, why did, will you take that up with God? You know, that's like mm -hmm. the, the man in the pool of Bethesda. Mm -hmm. You know, 38 years, mm -hmm. 38 years by the pool. 
Mm-hmm. So this is all God's timing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and Moses took him 40, 40. years to, mm-hmm. to get where God wanted him to do so he yeah. could get back. I guess God wants to uh, allow you because you have a will. And, and to the point is yeah. God had his hand on you even from the beginning. Yeah. And and some people would have been killed oh, yeah. or been put in jail oh, yeah. for less than that. Oh, yeah. And yet you had the protection because God didn't want you to go <laughs> to prison. Yeah. He, he was still protecting you. As a little child, you accepted yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, he had his hand on you. But yet we still had a choice. We still had a choice. And I uh, finally... Um, forgave the ones that had hurt me, that had molested me, and I said, you know. And did they molest you? Yeah. Who was it? Uh, uh, I'm not trying to give the names, uh-huh. but uh, more or less. A family member. A family member mm-hmm. yeah. that you trusted. And, yes. And, yes. And, 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 and that does happen even yeah. to this day. Yeah. And there's a lot of people, hush, hush, don't want to say yeah. anything. And they, you know, uh, addiction happens with anything. Yeah. Not, it, it, you got your alcohol, you have your drugs, yeah. you have, you know, sex addiction, money addiction, gambling, yeah. you name it. Facebook addiction, yeah. uh, you name it. There's a root. When I finally uh, found, okay, there's a root here. See, people only saw the cocaine story. They didn't see the other story that I held, the pain, almost 40, you know, 20 some years. Of, uh, it was 40 when I finally surrendered wholeheartedly to the Lord. Amen. And that's when the Holy Spirit did his work. You were about 40 when you really yes. came to the Lord. Yes, when I fought this really is, uh, eight years ago, I finally said, um, well, after three overdoses, you know, I still, you would think that I would have been knocked out. And God yeah. was so patient with yes, me. Yes, his love. Such He's love. A- he had his arms just wide open. Baby, I'm here. I'm waiting. And so... Um, Tell I'll us have, about the the last overdose and uh, mention to me that the last overdose you went into hell. Yes. And, and, and what, I'll never forget. Tell us yeah. a little about the whole story in detail so the audience could hear that if you make the wrong choices, mm-hmm. and there's destiny of punishment. There Go is. ahead and share with yes, us. Yes, brother. Um, I wanted to start off by uh, be careful who your friends are. You know, I was partying with this one person and thought was my friend, brother. Um, I told him, I'm not feeling good. Something's wrong. You know, call 911. And um, he ran out the house. <laughs> mm-hmm. He left me there to die. I, my heart, I, I remember my head going back. I remember my heart was just palpitating. Uh, and I flew out of the house. Uh, I flew out of the house. And there was these two young boys walking. It was about 7 in the morning. And, and these two young boys, I used to feed them and buy them tennis shoes. <laughs> they loved hanging out with my son. We had, they had the trampoline in the back. And they saw me fly out like Superwoman. <laughs> I flew out. And uh, they came in and they called 911 right away. So God sent my angels. My mm. little angels. Mm. Uh, I was kind of in limbo, brother. Mm-hmm. I, I was coming in and out. I could see them cleaning up. I could see them on the phone with the emergency. With you were out of your body. I was kind of out of my body. Mm-hmm. Like I was watching to see. Mm-hmm. And my head was going back. And I saw hell, brother. Mm-hmm. I saw you, hell, brother. You were in hell. It, it was nothing nice. It, it was nice. it was hot. It was torment. People were pulling my hair. I, it was like I was holding on to Jesus' feet. It, oh, I was yeah. holding on to Jesus' feet, and, and people crying. were pulling. You pulling, literally felt them pulling, pulling you? at me, pulling on me. Those like demons. I don't know, like they wanted to kind of come over me to, you know. But it, they were just, you know, it was so pulling hot. you. Yeah. And the torment, <coughs> you felt the torture. The torture, the screaming, uh, and Jeez. I and I picture the devil with with God having a conversation. Brother mm. Michael, uh, the devil said, let me have her. Let me have her. Look at her. She's a mess. She's just a hot mess. Let me have her. And, and, and this just wonderful, loving God that we, that, that just, I called on the name of Jesus. Because I called on everybody else and they left me. And I said, yes. Jesus. I said this eloquent prayer, brother. I don't even know how to spell eloquent. <laughs> mm. I said, Jesus, help me. In my sin, 
Mm. He came and he snatched me out. I picture uh, John 15. I am the, the, uh, the, the branch. I'm sorry. I am the vine. You are the branch. Whatever doesn't bear fruit, I will prune it. I will cut it off. And he just snatched me up, brother. Amen. He snatched me up. And, 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 uh, and I saw that. And did I, did I, uh, I fought. I fought with, with, with God. Of course, he always won. Yes, yes. <laughs> he always wins. And you Praise were able God. to see people when you were out of your body. Yes, I was there. So uh, I, I see the emergency came. The uh, first responders came, and I'm looking at everything, and I see my body just there, laying there, uh, dead. You know that I didn't have any oxygen in my brain for a very long time. I should have been brain dead. I should have been dead, brother. Mm. But the mercy of God. Grace always wins, Amen. brother. Grace always wins, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise and God. And you felt the torture of those demons that was that was leading up for your future. That but was God my future. Yeah. saved you when you called yeah. his name. They were already planning my, my, <coughs> my funeral. They were already, you know, once a druggie, always a druggie. Um, but I always had the love of the Lord in, in and I had a wonderful son. He was my angel. I know he was. Uh, God sent this young young man to me he's 22 now but at that time he was four and I would dress him up to go to church I said parents take their kids to church mm -hmm. so I would take him to his church class and I would sit in the uh, uh, in the pews <coughs> there at church at Lakewood and I would listen to Joe Osteen you know little that you know that when you're sitting in church even in your sin that seed is growing. Right. That's what God is watering that seed. I used to leave, uh, go to church and throw hundred dollar bills in the offering. I never, you know, lots and lots of money. And then I would go party later that night. Mm -hmm. And but you I, took your son to and the I church. And I would get him to church. And it said, I remember, train your kids in the ways of the Lord. And and when they stray, they will come back. And that's kind of like what my mother did. My mother always had me. Uh, had us in church, you know, uh, it, it was a stronghold. It was chains and generational curses that had to be broken, Yes, had yeah. to be broken, brother. Yes. So again, the devil knew that God was going to use me mightily. And in order to be used by God mightily, brother, you have to go through a process. And mm -hmm. so even then I fought, you know, I fought with him, Lord, you know, look at me. I'm a, you know, look at me, Lord, I'm a drug addict. You know, I used to do cocaine lines in a cross. Mm hmm you would think that God should have taken me out at that second. Mm -hmm. You know, people never found my drugs. You know why? Because I kept it in the Bible where nobody looked at it, <laughs> brother. You know, wow. you would think, oh, see, the Pharisees would have said, take her out. She needs to go out. Cut her head. Bury her. But mm. the God's love, his arms were just, baby, I love you. And finally, when I surrendered wholeheartedly, I'll never forget, I was sitting at my dining room table, drunk as a skunk, high as a kite, brother. And uh, God says, I'm going to use you, daughter. I said, Lord, how are you going to use me? Look at me, Lord. I'm a hot mess. I was stripping at the dance clubs. I was, but I always went to church, and I always had a love for him, and he knew my heart. See, God knows our heart, mm -hmm. brother. And he knew that I was, um, I, I didn't have the understanding and the knowledge. So, but it, he takes us through this process. And that's our journey. Enjoy your journey. You know, um, I stand on Ezekiel 36, mm -hmm. Ezekiel 36, where I will give you a clean heart. I will put a, a new spirit in you. God did a total. And when I finally said, okay, Holy Spirit, I've tried the Virgin Mary. I've tried AA. I've tried counseling. They've put me on all kinds of pills. I'm a zombie with all this Lexapro and all these pills. And I finally said, Holy Spirit, empower me. That was the first time I ever asked the Holy Spirit to empower me. And just like that, 26 years, Brother Mike, instantly, no withdrawals, no, uh, no evidence. And then God says, okay, you study your word. You soak in that word. You, you, you do not leave. So every morning I got up, get my coffee, get in my word. I studied this word, wrote my notes down. I am worthy. I am valuable. God has a great plan for me. I said, Amen. yes, I could do this. Amen. I said, okay, Papa. And uh, it was miracle after miracle. Praise the Lord. I, one of my first miracles after three and a half years, I, I remember staying, I, I had the money. I, I said, Lord, take the house, take the trucks, take the money. 
Just give me my life back. Give, make me the little girl I used to be before all this pain. You know? Amen. And I went to the doctor, brother. I'll never forget. I went to the doctor to ask, uh, check my heart. I said, doctor, what did I do to my heart? I said, uh, he says, well, you have a heart of a teenager. And I said, no, 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 doctor, you don't understand. I did cocaine for many, many years, for 26 years. Check my heart again. And he says, look, you have a heart of a teenager. Praise I God. went out of that doctor's office. I said, Papa, what? You answered my prayer. You made me the little girl that I used to be before all this pain. Amen. Brother. Praise the Lord. And I said, okay, Father, you want to use me? How do you want to use me? You will preach to my people. Mm. I said, no, no, I will not. I don't like your people. Your people have hurt me. He says, no, I'm going to change your heart. I'm going to give you a heart. Uh, 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 I'm going to give you a clean heart. I'm going to give you a new heart. Amen. Now, I love so many people. Mm. Everybody that comes to me and loves on me and loves on me. And I said, hallelujah. I forgave those that hurt me. I surrendered wholeheartedly. And Amen. I said, okay, Lord. So the house I was living in, I, I was on my way for, I was actually going into bankruptcy. And I had the money to go to the bankruptcy attorney. And I turned around. I said, okay, Lord, you want to use me? I turned around. I said, show me you're real. Show me that you are real. Brother, I stayed in this house, studying this word, listening to preachers, listening to instilling all this into my uh, mind, the love uh, that God had for me. I stayed in this house for three and a half years rent free. Praise the Lord. Unbelievable. Mind boggling. One of my first miracles, uh, there was these two little boys that used to come to my house. They loved playing with my son and they had a turtle. His name was Eggy. And the turtle had died. They're Miss Joanne, Miss Joanna. Eggie is dead. And they had him in a soapbox wrapped up like a mummy. And I said, well, I said, take him out of that box. And the turtle was like this with his head down. And I went under my voice, uh, my breath, and I said, you know, I prayed in the spirit. You go put that turtle back in the aquarium where he belongs. The next day, I get knock, knock, knock on my door. Miss Joanna, Miss Joanna, Eggie is alive. Praise the Lord. Eggie is double in size, double in color today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can you tell the audience how to get a hold of you? Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. So they could call you in case they want to invite you to their church to give uh, your testimony or or if they need prayer to call you. Yes, if you are really serious, uh, people, this is no time to play. You know, uh, it, I know it's totally, it's mind boggling to, to see how I'm still alive after all this. But let me tell you, God is real. Nothing is too hard for him. If you're serious about getting some uh, change and you want to stop, Again, I totally understand the drugs and the alcohol. And you've got to get to the root of all of this uh, hurt that you're trying to numb yourself through the drugs and alcohol. Uh, call me direct at 832-438-0139. Email me, briones underscore joanna at yahoo.com. Uh, again, you can find me on Facebook at Joanna Briones. Uh, God is real. This, God is still in the miracle working business and nothing is too hard for him. I'm here for you. You call me. This is what God had actually from the beginning. I wish I would have listened a long time ago, but this is God's timing to, excuse me, to, uh, to do the work of his, his, for him. This is all for his glory. This is not for me. This is nothing about me. This is all to get you and anybody that you know that is facing any drugs, just love on them. Call me uh, uh, so we can pray and, and, and stand. I can stand in the gap and I can mentor you and I can disciple you. Uh, it, you've got to get in this word. This is the power right here in the word. Um, the scripture that I stood on was Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. They're for good. They're not for evil. God is so patient and he's so sovereign. He will never hurt us. As much as we have hurt him, just fall into his arms. 
I promise you, sisters and brothers, He is there. Just come as you are. Amen. Like the song says, come to the altar. Amen. 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 Praise to the God Lord. be the glory. Glory to God. And let us pray right now, those who would like to accept Jesus. Say, Jesus, Jesus. forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me, all my forgive sins. me for all the evil I've committed. Forgive me for I repent evil. in Jesus' name. I ask you, Jesus, come in my heart in and my be, the Lord, be the Lord of my life. Lord, I believe you're the Son of God. You're the Son of God. And that God has raised you from the dead. And I confess Jesus Christ Jesus. is the Lord Jesus. of my spirit, soul, Amen. and body. And if you accept that prayer, please write us. And let me pray. If you're sick right now, yes. we rebuke all sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. We rebuke all disorder in the name, all sugar, Amen. diabetes, high blood pressure in the name of Jesus, cancer, leukemia. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke it. In the name of Jesus. Lay hands on your body right now and rebuke that sickness. In the name of Jesus, be gone, be ye healed. Jesus already healed you at the cross. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. And if you're praying for your loved ones uh, that are in drugs or prostitution or homosexual, God is able to bring them to the feet of Jesus. Father, we pray for the loved ones. Uh, devil, you cannot have them. In the name of Jesus, their house home shall be saved and set free. Father, we pray for the loved ones, God. In the name of Jesus, you cannot have them that belong to Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus around them that no weapon that forms against them shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Jesus. Right now, just touch the hearts of the people. Yes, and the mothers and the fathers. Yes. Oh, don't give up on your no, children. No. And don't give up on your parents. Uh, no. no matter who they are, there's a way out. Yes. Jesus will make the crooked place straight. In the name of Jesus Christ, praise God. And don't forget next week, be tuned in, same time. Looking forward to hear from you. Write us or email us in Jesus' name. God bless y'all. And thank you, sister, for being with me. Thank you so much, brother. God bless thank you, you so in much, Jesus' Michael. name. Yes, Pastor. God Praise be to God. I hope you enjoyed the program today. But don't forget about the awesome book on the power of the cross and how God healed me and delivered me and also the gifts of the Holy Ghost, how to operate and function and flow in the gifts. Praise be to God. And be a part of our ministry and be looking for us next week and tune in. Praise be to God.